I'm Dr. J. Chua, and welcome to Adjusting Your Heart. We talk about mental health and relationships every Friday, so please do subscribe. Our topic today is how to journey with someone who is grieving. Nothing can describe the pain of losing a loved one. In devastating times like this, let's be there to give them the support they need. Tip number one, understand the five stages of grief. The five stages of grief was popularized by Dr. Elizabeth Kubler-Ross. Knowing the usual stages grieving people go through can help us be more effective in supporting them. That way, they won't turn to smoking, drinking, or gambling just for comfort. The first stage is denial. Upon receiving the tragic news that their loved one is dead, they enter into a state of shock and numbness. Thoughts like, this can't be true, I just saw her this morning. Or, my son is so young, he lived a healthy lifestyle, how can he die of a cardiac arrest? The second stage is anger. Their anger is an indication of the intensity of their affection for the deceased. Underneath the anger is pain, especially the pain of being abandoned. Anger could be directed towards the deceased, the doctor, the caregiver, or another family member. At times, they are angry with themselves or even with God. The third stage is bargaining. What if I devote the rest of my life in helping others? Can I wake up and realize that this all had been a bad dream? Guilt is often bargaining's companion. If only I found the tumor sooner. Or if only I didn't allow her to attend the party. She wouldn't have been involved in a car accident. The fourth stage is depression. They feel intense sadness and wonder how they can go on with life. They can't eat, sleep, study, or work properly. They withdraw from others and just want to be cooped up in their bedroom all day long. The fifth stage is acceptance. They finally reach the point in which they accept the reality that their loved one is physically gone. And will never come back. It is the new norm with which they must learn to live with. These five stages are responses to feelings that can last for minutes, hours, days, weeks, or months. Please be reminded that they do not enter and leave each stage in a linear fashion. They may flip in and out one stage enter a different stage and revert back to the other stage. Let's accompany them until they reach acceptance, which leads us to tip number two. Listen to their musings. Your presence, even though you don't know what to say, is a great comfort to someone who is grieving. Go to the wake or visit them at their house. When you see them, offer your condolences and give them a hug. You can tell that person, I'm here for you to lean on. I have an open heart and time to listen. You can tell them, I wish I had the right words to say, but just know that I'm here for you. Assure them that it's okay not to be okay, that they can cry whenever they miss the departed loved one. You can also cry with them. Listen attentively when they talk about the deceased. You can also share your fond memories of the departed loved one. Doing so would warm their heart and encourage them to talk more. Keep in mind that people grieve in various ways. Some people may prefer to grieve alone. Tell them to take all the time and space they need to grieve. Let them know that you're just a phone call away. Tip number three, be mindful of special occasions. 
Oftentimes, people are there to support the bereaved family during the wait or the first few weeks of loss. Let's remember them, especially during special occasions. It is during the first Christmas, the first birthday, or the first wedding anniversary that they missed their loved one all the more. You can text, send flowers, or send food to comfort them. If they leave alone, then you can invite them for dinner. During the first death anniversary, you can offer to accompany them to the cemetery. If they post in Facebook regarding the deceased's birthday or death anniversary, leave a comment. For people who are more private, I just text them directly. Something like, remembering your dad with you on his special day. To let them know that I haven't forgotten, especially if they're relatives or good friends. Some would respond that they're still heartbroken over losing their loved one. I respond by encouraging them to pour out their thoughts and feelings in a journal. Or they can write a letter addressed to the departed loved one, tied to a balloon, and let it fly. I'd also encourage them to keep the memory of the deceased alive by creating a photo book or setting a foundation to help the less fortunate. It's all the more painful when they're mourning the death of a child, a teenager, or a young adult. I would gently remind them that as hard as it is, they have to allow God and time to help them cope with the loss. Doing so doesn't mean that they have forgotten the departed, but would prevent the other children from experiencing survivor's guilt. For more tips, please check our Coping with Grief playlist. Dr. Elizabeth Kubler-Ross and David Kessler said, The reality is that you will grieve forever. You will not get over the loss of a loved one. You will learn to live with it. You will heal and you will rebuild yourself around the loss you have suffered. You will be whole again but you will never be the same, nor should you be the same, nor would you want to. My friends, God understands your pain more than anyone else. He willingly sacrificed his one and only son, Jesus Christ, for sinners like us. May you put your hope into the one who promises eternal life to those who will believe in him. 1 John 5.11 says, This is a testimony that God has given us eternal life, and this life is in His Son. When we believe in Jesus, our sins will be forgiven, and we're assured of a place in heaven where there's no more pain, no more tears. How to journey with someone who is grieving? Tip number one. Understand the five stages of grieving. Number two, listen to their musings. Number three, be mindful of special occasions. If you're blessed by this video, please like, subscribe, click on the notification button below, and do share this video with others. You may also follow Adjusting Your Heart in Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, and Signal GCTV 185. Take care, everyone.